Hey, thanks so much for watching. I want to talk to you just for a few minutes about Amazon Interactive Video Service, which is a newer service that came out from uh, Amazon Web Services last summer. And you may already be familiar with it in the sense that it's the underlying infrastructure that powers Twitch. But IVS itself is a managed live video streaming service, and that allows you to create channels and start streaming in just a few minutes, uh, like many things out there. But beyond that, it lets you go ahead and build an engaging interactive experience alongside that ultra low latency live video. So you can distribute video at scale to a range of devices and platforms, and then you can easily integrate that same video into your websites and your apps that you know are gonna access it from all these different devices. So let's take a look at IVS.rocks real quick. And I wanna show you around some of the examples they've built that can help you get a better understanding of what's possible with this service from Amazon. So again, that's ivs.rocks. Got a great overview video here, quick links to the documentation and the getting started section. But I wanna draw your attention right away to these examples. To me, this was the easiest way to start comprehending what are we actually talking about doing. Um, and they have more and more complex examples, complex examples as you go through what, they, what they've provided. So uh, the timed metadata console this plays a video out and then at different spots in the video you see the metadata kind of arrive. And so it's this idea of a video playing out and then at specific times you have these uh, interactive promptings or you have an event of some type. So a really simple example of that is this e-commerce live product showcase. So as you watch this person just, obviously this is a recorded video, it's not playing out live in the truest sense of that word, but you've got the metadata here coming in for these different products. The timings are listed. And as you click on these products, it gives you a little bit more information. It's a nice product photo, and then there's a buy now button. You can see how on an e-commerce website, this type of enabling this type of experience, that'd be really valuable because it's almost like being at the counter with the salesperson themselves. They have a couple other things that are interesting in here as far as examples go. Um, for example, this UGC streaming platform, so user-generated content streaming platform, it's basically just showing you, you know, a clear label, small-scale version of, of what Twitch offers there. Now, the individual things that Twitch offers, like the interactive, you know, the branded interactive experiences of like channel raids and stuff like that, um, that is not something that's baked into IBS itself, but it's that capability to communicate with these APIs information from the client and information to the client when it comes to these live streams. Uh, it also integrates with video.js, so if you're already deeply into that player solution, uh, you can keep going that direction. They have a bunch of code samples here you can dig into. Uh, it's nice you can filter them if you're looking for a particular one, you know, you're looking for something for iOS. You can just filter and get there. So check out uh, Amazon Interactive Video Service. Uh, you know, go ahead and get started with it. If you have more questions about it, keep reading in their blog posts, things like that. I'm sure they're gonna, they're gonna keep publishing content about it. But you can also just get in touch with me if you'd like. I'd be more than happy to tell you what I know about the service or talk to you about some uh, implementations of it you might be thinking about and try to give you solid advice for moving forward. Thanks so much for watching.